This is example C. This is a common emitter voltage divider by a circuit. A what? A voltage divider by a circuit with a common emitter configuration. You say, well, wait a second. Bias circuit? What was a bias circuit again? The bias circuit was a DC circuit like this one here whose purpose is to guarantee that the transistor is in its active zone and in its linear mode to guarantee that this junction here is on and that this one is off. In other words, to ensure that in an NPN transistor this current is positive and that the collector is higher than the base. How does it do it? Well, this voltage divider will set a voltage here at the base that will push a positive current into the base, ensuring that the BE junction is on. At the same time, this uh, voltage source will pull up the voltage of C above B to ensure that this junction is off. Oh, you say this is again? Yes, it's the voltage divider common emitter by a circuit, which by the way, it's the most popular of the bias circuits for the BJT. If you say, well, I see the voltage divider, you are dividing the voltage of the power supply 10 volts between R1 here and R2 and down here, I see that. And that is the voltage you apply to the base of the transistor. What I don't see, you say, is that this is a common emitter. Why you call that a common emitter? Let's see. The phrase common emitter refers to the AC version of the circuit. In AC, the signal source, this one, is the one that is looking at the circuit. In AC, by superposition, we have eliminated the DC source. This source is zero, so that means that this is actually connected to the reference node, like so. So this resistor actually is in parallel with this one down here, and this is also connected to the reference node. But not only that, in AC, those three capacitors are like short circuits, like so. But then again, observe then that in AC, this shorted capacitor here is connecting directly the emitter to the reference node. It is bypassing this 2 kilo ohm resistor. So the emitter is connected through the reference node to the output load and also through the reference node to the input signal source. The emitter is common to the input and common to the output. That's why it's called the common emitter by a circuit with a voltage divider. But let's go back to the DC circuit, which is the one we need to solve today. We want to know if this transistor is in a, it's a linear mode, is it in saturation or in cutoff mode. So let me bring back the capacitors, bring back the source on the top and the other capacitor. Not only that, in DC we know that those capacitors will be like open circuits, will eliminate this load resistor and this signal source. This will be open and this load will also not be there in DC or the input signal source either. Superposition, remember, we're solving the circuit in DC only. We're solving that in the bias circuit. Let's analyze this one. The first thing we do with this is replace the transistor by its linear mode of operation equivalent circuit, like so. In there I have identified the base, the emitter, the collector, the amplification of the current factor, the beta 200 IB, and the current of the base IB 0 0.7 volts here, B is higher than E, because I am assuming first and foremost that the transistor is in its linear mode. Later on we will find out if we were right or not. In this circuit, I find IB. How? 
Let me use M and A. First, an evil equation for this evil branch. VB is higher than the voltage of the emitter by 0 0.7 volts. Correct. And then a couple of KCL equations, one for the base node, Karen's uh, going in only 110 minus VB over 300 kilos over here, and that is equal to Karen's leaving the evil current, the base current IB plus the current through R2, VB over 500 ohms. And the other KCL equation for node E here, Karen's going in. 200 IB plus IB, currents leaving, only this one, V over 2000 ohms. We enter those three equations in the calculator, ask for those three unknowns, VB, VE, and IB, and we solve for those values, and we concentrate on one value we need, the base current. The base current turns to be a negative number. That is all we care about right now. We say negative IB, that's impossible. That means only one thing. The BJT is in cutoff mode. That means that the currents in the base and the collector are zero. We need to replace the transistor by its cutoff equivalent circuit, like so and solve the circuit again if we need to. What is the voltage of the emitter? Evidently there is no current here. There is no voltage drop there. The voltage in E is 0 volts. What is the voltage of the base? Just a voltage divider, right? Right. And what is the voltage of the collector in this case? Because there is no current in the collector, there is no voltage drop in this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. VC is just 10 volts. And that is all. The transistor is in cutoff mode. It's working as an open switch. Thank you very much.